All right, so I finally had a chance to compare the Heresy 4 to the Heresy 2. And to be honest with you, man, I am shocked. They're not that much different. Uh, in fact, I don't even know if some people would even pass a blind test. Now, I understand the 4 is a slightly bigger box. It's got port on the back. It's supposed to have more base. It's supposed to go down lower. Um, but I swear, man, these reviews that you read and all this crap that people say on the Internet, is I think it's just exaggerated because what they're... what the what I notice here is that with the same amp right here I'm just punching you know pumping out a couple of watts a channel here and you don't feel the base of the four the way people say unless you're pumping the thing up with a more powerful amp like this Dynaco ST70 which put out 36 watts a channel and because these speakers are so freaking efficient man they think they just drives the hell out of them the efficiency on the four seems slightly less it seems like a few decibels lower than um, um, uh, less efficient, sorry, they, they sound a few decibels less efficient than the twos. Uh, the grills you can see here are the relative sizes of the two grills. You can obviously see that the cabinet on the on the four is slightly taller. The The reason they, they look the same height here is because the stands on the two are a little bit uh, taller. Build quality is sensational on both of them. Uh, the edges here you, you can see are about half inch thick. Here it's three quarter inch here. Uh, the other thing too is you'll notice the mid driver is deeper on the two versus the four um, and for that reason I thought that the four might be more slightly more unidirectional but honestly that when you're sitting in one position you move your head they're affected in the same way so I don't think that the four is any more unidirectional than the two at least from what I can gather here but um, I think the important thing here that I, I want to emphasize here is that the, the way people on the internet talk about the bass like if i'm on the four if i'm if i'm playing something like rosanna right like uh toto or you know, like barry white and you turn it up and you play it on this amp man you're going to feel the bass it's chest pounding more uh, slightly more so than what you would get with the two but once again i can't emphasize enough that if you're playing jazz like you know i'm playing like john coltrane stan getz uh, ella fitzgerald louis armstrong I've got, you know, I've got some, like, Ben Webster here that I'm playing. I've got, like, uh, you know, Bill Evans. You know, and I play tons of LPs, like Can and stuff like that. If you're, if you're playing at, at levels of, uh, volume levels that are, you know, that are not, like, outrageous, then the bass impact is not the way, in my opinion at least, not the way people uh, claim it is on the internet. And I think that kind of sucks about people that, you know, you expect people that are more advanced than I am, and I've only been doing this a couple of years, but there's people who have been doing this for like 20 or 30 years, and they don't explain to you that to feel that bass impact, you have to drive the shit out of them to really get that feeling of it. So if I'm using, once again, if I'm using this little amp and I'm playing the two and I'm playing jazz, the differences are, are really subtle as far as bass is concerned. I do not feel that the, the highs and mids are any more at an advantage than the two. So I think a lot of that crap you read on the internet where people are like, you know, the highs and mids are, that's bullshit. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I'm sitting here and I'm listening to these two. And I swear, I, I if anything, I think the twos are slightly more holographic sounding. Um, if I if I had to take a stab at it, but it's just I, I can't help but say, but a lot of the crap you hear on the internet is just a lot of placebo, a lot of you know advertising, a lot of marketing bullshit. And I don't care what anybody says, man. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to it. And once again, two and a half watts a channel, listening to jazz between these two speakers, you're going to be struggling to hear the difference. And when, until you get, like, you start pumping it up with a powerful amplifier like this thing, and this thing is just like, the walls are going to, paint's going to come off the walls. There's so much power when you listen to it. That is when you start really feeling the bass impact come. So, just kind of disappointed in a lot of the aficionados out there who don't explain that. So, too bad. Anyway, man, they're both good. Um, I definitely will be giving my the fours back to my friend. I'm not going to be uh, changing from the twos to the fours. I just don't feel that the volume levels I listen and the jazz I listen to, it's necessary. And if I really want bass, I got two rail subs, T5Is, one on this side, and I got one on this side. And, you know, if I'm playing stuff like Hans Zimmer, I want to really feel it, man. I'll put those things on. And those things are just... You want to feel chest pounding. Now, those things are amazing, and they're tight, and they're fast. And I think once you get the phase, 
just right. Um, it, they're, it's amazing. So I really honestly, if I'm being, you know, if you're, unless you're really cranking the music, man, I just don't see where, what the deal is with the four. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, if you want to see how they look with the grills, the build quality is absolutely beautiful on both of these. Um, I got to hand it to uh, Klipsch, man. The, the, I do love the, I do love the fours. So they did a beautiful job on the grills and everything. And the, the veneer is just gorgeous. You know, the fit and finish is just an absolute 10 on a scale of one to 10. So really nice in there, but yeah, man. So hopefully that give you an idea. If you disagree, tell me. I'll be happy to discuss. 